What is a fish? There's a lot of variety, but generally they've got eyes, mouth, gills, fins, tails, scales, cheeky grins. Well, maybe not that last one, but let's have a look at what else they have. Like us, most fish have a skeleton made of bone. Sharks and rays are different and have a skeleton made entirely of cartilage, the same as your ears and nose. Cod, living in icy polar waters, make their own antifreeze that stops their blood freezing solid. Fish are very diverse animals and there's more than 30,000 different species of them, with many still waiting to be discovered. They outnumber mammals like us. Together with our hairy relatives, we only number 6,500 species. A lack of water doesn't mean a lack of fish. Annual killifish live in pools that dry up completely, but lay eggs that survive the dry season and hatch when the rains come. This means that there are times of the year when the whole population is in the form of eggs in desert soil. Some fish live in underground caves and no longer have eyes or skin colour as they don't need these in the dark. As they can't see where they're going, they navigate using their lateral line, which senses water movement and pressure. Fish have some senses that we don't. Salmon can use the Earth's magnetic field to find their way to the river where they were born. Mudskippers are a type of marine goby that live in muddy mangrove swamps and they spend their time out of water crawling around on their fins. When the tide comes in, they do their best to stay out of the water and will climb tree roots or hide in their burrows. Many of the tropical fish seen for sale in shops are domesticated forms, a bit like Persian cats or Labrador dogs that don't exist in the wild. Goldfish are a good example and were first bred from their brown wild ancestors over a thousand years ago in China. Hopefully this has given you a little taste of the amazing diversity within thousands of species of fish. There's far more out there than just tetra and cod 